Welcome to part three of Let's Play Sword of the Samurai by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson. At the end of the last part, I was on paragraph 384. Here we go. You thrust your sword deep into one of its black eyes and it rears back, uttering a shrill, burbling shriek. It threshes wildly in its death throes and you have to leap back out of the way. Presently, it subsides and falls dead. Quickly, you rush over to Moichi. He is still alive, but only just. Blood is oozing like the tide from a gaping wound. His face is pale and his eyes are dimming. At least I died with honour, my liege, and in, an, in a noble cause. With that, his spirit leaves him. You pause silently in mourning for a while, honouring his memory. But you know you must continue with your mission. A search of the cavern reveals an exit at one end and a heaped pile of treasure, mostly bones and old useless weapons. However, you do find 15 gold pieces, a shiny silver helmet of ornate workmanship, a bottle of greenish black ica like liquid, and a magnificently crafted iron war fan used in battles to signal troops, which is inlaid with a pattern of ivory uh, that makes you feel nauseated. Uh, to look at yeah so uh, that always annoys me uh, strictly speaking nauseous means to cause nausea so it would be synonymous with nauseating um, um, whereas to feel nausea is to be nauseated um, whenever I read you know something that you know like that makes you feel nauseous the first thing that comes to my mind is um, you know uh, that, that makes you feel disgusting because you know, uh, it makes you feel as if you are disgusting and that you're causing other people nausea. So nauseous really means um, to cause nausea, not to feel nausea. To, to feel nausea is to be nauseated. Anyway, um, everyone gets that wrong. Anyway, um, will you pick up the wall fan and open it? Turn to 182. Drink some of the liquid? Turn to 196. Put on the helmet, turn to 210, or leave them all and go through the exit, turn to 222. Okay, first of all, we are going to take that gold, so we have 115 gold now. Um, Moichi has also, has also died, so we're going to put died, and then we're going to choose one of the options. Okay, we're going to pick up the wall fan and open it and turn to 182. You open the iron wall fan. It reveals a beautiful image painted on its spread blades, an insignia you do not recognise, something very ancient. Nine gold arrow fletches pointing inward, inwards to a blue circle. The whole set on a plate... Uh, uh, the whole set on a plain white background. Puzzled, you fold it up and place it in your backpack. Will you put on the helmet? Okay, before I do that, I'm going to take the war fan. So, we have an iron war fan. Let's do a new line. Iron war fan, hyphenated. Alright, um... Okay, so we've done that. Um, will you put on the helmet if you have not if you have not already done so? Turn to 210. Drink from the bottle if you have not already done so. Turn to 196. Or leave the cavern. Turn to 222. Okay, we're going to drink from the bottle. Um, and turn to 196, which is 14 squared. You raise the bottle to your lips and a vile stench fills your nostrils. You sip it. The taste makes you heave and retch. <laughs> um, but the liquid burns down your throat it is invigorating and health giving the liquid is healing some of your wounds regain up to three points of lost stamina let's do that puts you up to 16 here we go um, there is enough liquid left for, ugh, there is enough liquid left for one good drink you may drink it at any time to restore up to five points of stamina okay so we have a healing potion, uh, plus five stamina. There we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, you may drink it at any time to restore up to five points of stamina. Will you open the wall fan if you have not already done so? Uh, turn to 182. 
182. Put on the uh, put on the helmet if you have not already done so. Turn to 210 or leave the cavern. Turn to 120. Uh, turn to 222. Okay, we're going to leave the cavern and turn to 222. Uh, the exit tunnel curls upward until you can see a small circle of light ahead from a cave entrance under a rocky overhang on a hillside. Uh, the hill slopes down into a shallow valley with a road running its length. It is the main road. You must follow it north to reach Onikaru and Ikiru. Turn to 386. Here we go. You come out of the valley and are faced by a large forbidding forest stretching away for miles to either side. The road disappears into its depths like a stone into water. You recognise it as the forest of shadows and you must go through it. Turn to 112. 112, here we come. Okay. You follow the thin woodland trail that winds and bends through the clustered boles of the forest of shadows. The trees are so closely packed that only a fraction of the sun's rays filter down in shafts of, du in shafts of dusky light filled with motes of dust that float slowly in the air. It is dim and murky and the sounds of forest life intrude faintly on the edge of your consciousness as you walk on, as if in a walking dream. Suddenly you stumble out into a broad clearing, your eyes filled with light. You shake your head to clear it, when a sound in the air causes you to look up. A great dragon is floating down towards you. It has a long, sinuous body, like a massive serpent, but with four clawed legs. Its head is horned with great glaring amber eyes. It has no wings, but seems to be walking on air. It is a Tatsu, a wingless dragon that can walk on sky, sea and land. It settles before you, hovering a few feet off the ground. Its amber eyes regard you placidly, then it speaks in a rich, deep voice, resonant with knowledge and power. Welcome to the heart of the forest, mortal. I am the Guardian, and there are certain celestial laws that bind me. It seems to smile at you, if dragons can be said to smile at all. You must answer two riddles I shall put to you. If you answer them correctly, you may pass through the forest. If not, well, then I shall eat you, and you cannot run. No one can pass through this forest safely without first dealing with me. Then it laughs as if its last few words were obvious. Turn to two. Well, man-thing, here is the first riddle. In marble halls as white as milk, lined with a skin as soft as silk. Within a fountain crystal clear, a golden apple doth appear. Yeah, so um, D-O-T-H is pronounced doth, not doth. It's just really annoying when people say doth. It's doth, in a similar way to how does is pronounced does, even though it's D-O-E-S. Anyway, um, I'll have to start the, <laughs> the riddle again now, sorry. Um, in marble halls as white as milk, lined with a skin as soft as silk. Within a fountain crystal clear, a golden apple doth appear. No doors are there to um, no doors are there to this stronghold, yet thieves break in and steal the gold. Uh, the Tatsu stares at you in greedy anticipation. When you think you have the answer, take each letter of the answer. Don't count words such as A or the uh, convert it to its corresponding number in the alphabet i.e a number from 1 to 26 add them together and turn to that paragraph number so if the answer were fire which it isn't you would turn to 38 because 6 plus 9 plus 18 plus, fi uh, plus 5 is 38 if the paragraph you turn to is the wrong one it won't make sense turn to 26 okay so let's have a good riddle again in marble halls as white as milk lined with a skin as soft as silk within a fountain crystal clear a golden apple doth appear no doors are there uh, to this stronghold yet thieves break in and steal the gold okay yeah it's a riddle so it's not really a marble hall you know it's one of those things um if you didn't have it already um if the answer is an egg um because 
It's a marble hall as, as white as milk. That's the, that's the albumen. Lined with a skin as soft as silk. That's the sort of, um, you know, the uh, the bit of skin stuff that's a, that's in between the album and, and the um and the shell uh within a fountain crystal clear um uh that's the album and again although before it's sort of boiled uh, a golden apple doth a bit it's not really an apple it, uh, that's the yolk no doors are there to this stronghold yeah, because it's an egg uh, yet thieves break in and steal the gold uh, they steal the yolk and, well, and the albumin as well, actually, because you eat everything. And some people even eat the shell, because um, it does dissolve. Anyway, so it's an egg. So uh, E is is uh, 5. Uh, G is 7. So it's 5 plus 7 plus 7, which is 19. Hence, we're turning to paragraph 19. Uh, the Tatsu seemed disappointed. An egg, yes, that is right, man thing. That reminds you of um, Battlefield Earth, uh, that film with John Travolta and uh, Forrest Whitaker, where, where they keep calling men man-animal or something. <laughs> anyway, an egg, yes, that is right, man thing. Then it brightens, uh, the look of greed coming back into its eyes. But can you succeed again, sharp-witted mortal? When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. Again, when you think you have the answer, take each letter of the answer, convert it to its corresponding number in the alphabet, add them together and turn to that paragraph number. If the paragraph you turn to is the wrong one, turn to 26. Okay. So let's read this uh, this riddle again. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. Uh, but when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. Now, I must admit, this is a difficult one. The answer is, is actually riddle. Because when you don't know what it is, then it's a riddle. And when you do know what it is, then it is not a riddle. Um, then it's just a statement, is it? It's, it's just sort of, you know, it doesn't really exist because because you just said it and you already know what it is so it's not a riddle so a riddle can only exist when you don't know the answer that's the idea there uh, anyway so we're gonna have to add up r i d d l and e now r i always remember um uh, that n is the 14th letter so o is 15 p is 16 q is 17 and r is 18 so you have to add up 18 um if g is 7 h is 8 and i is 9 so that means we've got 18 uh, that means we have 18 and 9 um d and d are obviously uh 4 and 4 um now if n is 14 13 is m and 12 is l so we have to add an l which is 12 and then add e which is 5 so we have 18 plus 9 which is uh, 27 27 plus 4 is 31 plus 4 is 35 plus 12 is 47 and then plus the 5 is 52 so we're uh, so we're turning to paragraph 52. Yeah, uh, that's a tough riddle. When I had uh, had a look at that before, that really did stump me. Um, it's a nasty one. The first one is sort of easy, more or less, but um, uh, yeah, that second one is nasty. Anyway, uh, the Tatsu stiffens in surprise and frustrated rage. A riddle, yes. Curse you, mortal, it bellows. For a moment you think it is going to attack you, but then it subsides. You have won your passage with honour, and you are free to go. Now, before you do, listen to my words. If you should find yourself in the tawny of the plains, and it comes to pass that you slay the Dai Oni, invoke the Jizu of demons thus. A surah is here, O Jizu, Jizu, come and ex Come and execute your purpose. With that cryptic message, the Tatsu takes to the air and is gone. In its place is a jade talisman shaped like a dragon. You pick it up and examine it. It is a talisman of fortuitous circumstance. Add two to your luck, uh, then press on through the wood. Turn to 82. Okay, so I'm going to... Um Yeah, I'm going to copy that out. Uh, Asura is here, O Jizo. Okay, so put that in information. Asura is here. Put it in quotation marks. 
a Sura is is here oh Jizo is it like a, a palindrome or something no it's not the Sura is here oh Jizo come and execute your purpose Come and execute your purpose. Okay, end quotation. Um, okay, we also have a jade dragon of fortuitous. Whoops, fortuitous. Right. Uh, fortuitous. There we go. Circumstance. Circumstance new line and we're adding on two points or something aren't we or something like that two to your luck talisman of oh jade jade talisman i was thinking of uh i must have been thinking of uh two made of two there with the jade dragon jade talisman and we don't need the two luck because we're at maximum luck anyway okay anyway we're now turning to 82 off we go Oh, there's a nasty here. Undead samurai. Um, eventually, you come out of the forest of shadows. In front of you, uh, the track becomes a road that runs across an ancient stone bridge over a river. It is the Hyang Kyang River, and the bridge is the Hakaguri Bridge. Uh, but beyond it, on the horizon, rise the Shiosi Mountains. As you walk onto the bridge, everything around you changes. It is as if you had stepped into another world. All the landmarks are the same, the bridge, the mountains, and so on, but the sky is darker now. Uh, the river to either side of the bridge is red, is as red as blood, and skeletal bodies, skulls, bones, and limbs float on its surface. Before you stands a hideous apparition. It is a samurai warrior, but one who has been long dead. A grinning skull rests inside the helmet, and each skeletal hand clutches a sword. The flag attached to its back, adorned with skulls, reads, Evil Death. The undead warrior leaps into the air and comes down before you. You must fight it. Undead Samurai. Skill 9, Stamina 11. If you if you reduce its stamina to 5 or less, turn to 32. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Undead Samurai, skill 9, stamina 11. My skill is 12, okay. Undead, whoops, Dead Samurai. Skill 9, Stamina 11. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Right, let's get back there and then there. <clears throat> um, okay, my, uh, its skill is 9, so 9 plus 4 is 13. I get 19, so 13 to 19. Uh, 9 plus 5 is 14, I get um, 20, so 14 to 20. Another 7, right. um, 9 plus 6 is 15, I get 20, so 15 to 20. Put it down to five now. If if you reduce its stamina to five or less, turn to thirty-two, um, which we did. So we're turning to thirty-two. Now the undead warrior fights in eerie silence. Your last blow shatters one of its skeletal arms and it executes another leap, which takes it out of range. Suddenly, it turns virtually invisible until only a reddish outline enables you to determine its position. Then it attacks you again. Um, continue the fight, but you cannot use Aijutsu again if you have that skill. Um, 
and subtract two from your skill while it is invisible. The first time you hit it, 10 to 58. Um, okay, so you have to carry on with the fight. So, but my skill is now 10 and it's is 9. Okay, 9 plus 5 is 14. Mine is um, 13. Right, okay. So 14 to 13, because my skill was. Um, my skill uh, was only 10 then, wasn't it? So it puts me down to 14. Right, next. 9 plus 9 is 18. I get 14. So 18 to 14. 18 to 14. Okay, um, 9 plus 2 is 11, I get 15, so 11 to 15, right, 11 to 15, okay, I don't know if that takes off, well, I'll put it down to 3 now, but it says turn to, turn to uh, the next paragraph, first time you hit it, turn to 58, hmm, 58. Once again, it leaps back to the other end of the bridge. It turns fully visible once more and gives a strange, ululating cry. To your horror, the skeletal bodies floating in the bloody river stir and come to life. Six of them begin to climb on, onto the bridge. If you have the skill of Kyujutsu and wish to try to shoot the undead samurai, Turn to 134. If not, turn to 242. Okay. Um, what do I have in my possessions here? Um, okay, so okay, so I'm going to turn to two hundred and forty two. I'm not going to try and shoot them two hundred and forty two. Now, the animated skeletons are heaving themselves onto the bridge. If you have the skill of Karamajutsu and wish to sprint forward and attempt to leap over the undead samurai to the other side of the river, turn to 262. If not, or you do not wish to try it, the skeletons charge at you. Turn to 358. Okay, um... We're going to turn to 358. Okay. Um, there are six skeletons animated by the undead samurai, but only three of them can get at you at a time. You must fight them all at once. Okay, so... if uh, You must fight them all at once. If you, if you defeat them all, you must fight the next three. If you defeat these three, 10 to 368. Okay, so it's a lot to do here. Right, okay. Okay, so don't forget, um, I count them. Um, I count them as, you know, all three enemies, but I can only hit one at a time. So I just need some more of them. There we go. Right. So what are they called? First skeleton, second skeleton, third skeleton. Okay. So first skeleton, second skeleton, third skeleton, 
Okay, what are they? 677677. Okay, so six, seven, seven, six, and seven, seven. Okay, let's do this. So I'll, I'll aim for the first one first. Okay, off we go. Okay, my skill is, well, for them it's 12 because they're not invisible. So let's go. So this is uh, 6, 7. So 6 plus 3 is 9. I get 18. So 9 to 18. Puts them down to 5. Now I have to do it for the other ones, but if I... If I win, it just means I don't get hurt. So they're, uh, they're seven for both. So seven for both here. Um, seven, that's 12. I get 21. So that's 12 to 21. And for the next one, it's seven plus six is uh 13 i get 20 so 13 to 20. So that just means um they don't hurt me okay next um six plus eight is 14 i get um 16 so 14 to 16. Puts them down to three. Okay, then for the others, seven plus two is nine. I get 20, so nine to 20. And then seven plus three is 10. Uh, I get 19, so 10 to 19. Um, Yeah, 10 to 19. So this is mildly confusing for me. Um, my slow brain is uh, it's finding it difficult to keep up with all this all this stuff that's going on. Okay, 7, no, sorry, 6 plus 6 is 12. I get 16, so 12 to 16. Whoops. Puts them down to 1. Okay, next... 7 plus 9 is 16, I get 19, so 16 to 19. That just means he doesn't hurt me. Okay, um, 7 plus 8 is 15, I get 21, so 15 to 21. Okay, uh, next I get... Um, or rather, it gets uh, 6 plus 8 is 14, I get 17. So 14 to 17. Puts it down to naught. That's the end of the first one. Okay, now we're fighting the second one um, properly. 7 plus 8 is 15, I get 23. So 15 to 23. And then I have to do it for the other one, don't I? Um, 7 plus 7 is 14. I get 22. So 14 to 22. Okay. 7 plus 8 is 15. I get 19. So 15 to 19. Puts it down to 2. 7 plus 9 is 16, I get 19, so 16 to 19. And then 
7 plus 5 is 12. I get uh, 19, so 12 to 19. And that's the end of the second one. And now I'm fighting the next, uh, the last one normally. Um, 7 plus 9 is 16. I get 19, so 16 to 19. Puts it down to 5. Um, I think I'll use some luck in the battle, actually. I'll use a luck point. I need this to be 11 or less which it is good so that means i've taken off um, another two points of damage off that so that puts it down to uh, to three so that puts it down to three immediately um but i've used a luck point you know just to hurry this along a bit really Okay, and then 7 plus 8 is 15. I get 17, so 15 to 17. That puts it down to 1. And then 7 plus 9 is 16. I get 20, so 16 to 20. And that's the end of uh, that lot of skeletons. Right, now for the next skeletons so fourth skeleton fifth skeleton and the sixth skeleton okay and their their stats are seven six six seven eight nine seven six six seven eight nine seven six I'll do this one eight nine. Seven six what is it? Seven six, yeah, seven six six seven. Seven six six seven and then eight nine. Okay, off we go. So do the first one first. So Seven plus seven plus eleven is eighteen. I get twenty three, so eighteen to twenty three. Puts it down to four. I think we're going to use another luck point. Need this to be ten or fewer, which it is good. Right, that puts him down to down to two then, but I've used a luck point. So that puts me down to nine luck points. Uh, I could do with the other luck points I got earlier now. Um, okay, now we're doing the other ones. They're both six and eight. So six and eight. Um, six plus six is 12. If that's 12. I get 21. So 12 to 21. So that's that. And then... 8 plus 7 is 15, I get 22, so 15 to 22 for the 6th one. Okay, so next one. 7 plus 4 is 11, I get 20, so 11 to 20. That's the end of the first one. And now we're fighting the 5th one properly. So that's uh, 6 plus 5 is 11, I get 19, so 11 to 19. And that's the, uh, the f down to 5. Am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. No. No, I'm not forgetting anything. I suppose I... No, I'm not forgetting anything. Um, okay, All right, so that's down... Fifth one's down to five. Okay, so now I'm doing it for the next one. So eight plus ten is eighteen. I get sixteen. So eighteen to sixteen. 
that means it hurts me, but I can't hurt it back, of course. Um, puts me down to 10 stamina. Alright, blimey, me, this is a quite, quite a, quite a chore here. Okay, so six plus um, four is ten. I get twenty-two. So ten to twenty-two puts it down to three. Right now we're doing it for the other one. So skill eight. So eight plus seven is fifteen. I get eighteen. So fifteen to eighteen. Okay, next one. So 6 plus 7 is 13. I get 17. So 13 to 17. Puts it down to 1. Um, 8 plus 6 is 14. I get 21. So 14 to 21. That's that. Um, uh, 6 plus 5 is 11, I get 18. So 11 to 18. Right, that's the end of the uh, fifth skeleton. Okay, now we're fighting the sixth one normally. Uh, uh, the sixth one. There we go, difficult to say. Okay, 8 plus 8 is 16. I get um, 18. So 16 to 18. Down to 7. Um, 8 plus 8 is 16, I get uh, 18 again. So that's 18, so 16 to 18 again. 8 plus 10 is 18, I get 19, so 18 to 19. Puts it down to 5. Just really, Did I take down the 16 to 18? Yeah, I, I forgot to take off the thing. That's down to three now. Sorry about that. It's getting confused here. Yeah, because I, I did it. Uh, yeah, it's one, two, and three. So that should be yeah, three bits off. Um, one, two, and three. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Eight plus five is thirteen. I get twenty-two. So thirteen to twenty-two. One. Okay, and then 8 plus 7 is 15, I get 20, so 15 to 20. Oh, that's the end of all the skeletons, blimey. Right, that's them done. Right, okay. Took ages, that did. Right, um, if, uh, if you defeat these three, 10 to 368, I did, so off we go. 368... Uh, the shattered remnants of the skeletons lie strewn about you. The undead samurai closes in silence to do battle for the last time. Undead samurai, skill 9, stamina 3. If you kill it, it falls to the ground and begins to dissolve. Uh, I'm guessing I'm not. it's not invisible anymore, so I'm carrying on with the thing. 9 and 3, so I'm carrying on with that, aren't I? So let's go back to that undead samurai. Because yeah, it doesn't say it's still invisible. Um... So 9 and 3, so 9 plus 7 is 16, I get uh, I get 19, so 16 to 19, um, even if I'd been um, at 10, I still would have won that, so that's okay. So that's 1, 9 plus 8 is 17, I get, uh, I get 18, I would have lost that if I... Uh, so 17 to 18, I would have lost that if I had lost, uh, if I still had um, minus two skill, but it didn't say I did, so I, I'm not. Okay, so that's that, that's the end of the Undead Samurai. If you kill it, it falls to the ground and begins to dissolve. The sky lightens and the redness fades from the river. Among the remains of the undead samurai, you notice an ivory horn of fine workmanship, inlaid with silver tracery depicting a saber-toothed tiger. You pick it up and walk on. 10 to 211. Okay, so we have an ivory horn. Yes, we have an ivory horn. Um, let's put that down. Ivory horn. 
Okay, and then we're turning to 211, which I am going to stop the video on which I am going to stop the video. So 211, I'll just turn to that paragraph though, 211. Because when I open up the PDF um, from closing it, it'll all automatically be on this point theoretically um anyway there we go so on paragraph 211 in the next video so thanks for watching i i hope that was exciting for you fighting all those skeletons and stuff um yeah um thanks again uh, and goodbye